Hello everybody. Welcome to Honeysuckle Farms. My name is Todd. It's Friday afternoon and the trusses are here. Well, that was the easy part. <laughs> the next part is getting them up there. We're setting everything up for next weekend. Going to get some help out if we can. And uh, we're going to put them babies up. Like I said, I still got a little work to do. Got to put my top plates on. And uh, I got to plane down a little section of the uh, top log got about 20 foot left we'll get that plane down but um you know check out the finish on the carriage house when i sprayed it with the linseed oil it went black and i was kind of concerned i still could see the grain and the texture but i was kind of concerned but after a few days it's lightening up and it is looking great I mean it really really happy with that the east side is actually drying faster but this is the side that everybody sees when you pull up so now the north side we kind of sprayed it heavy and uh, it's still drying but it's getting there I mean look at that anyway we're gonna take a look at everything the wife's fixing to show up here in a little while but uh, yeah Trusses are here, man. Woo! It's about 10 o'clock. Um, it's a kind of cloudy, overcast day. It looks like we're going to get some rain tomorrow, but we might even get some more today. But went to had to go into town and get some our top plate material. So we got that all taken care of. We got a couple of pieces of pine in there that we're going to use for underneath the porch area like we did on the bottom section but uh got a little bit of planning to do on the top last log up here and then we're going to go ahead and set our top plates we're going to get this thing ready for trusses like i said our trusses arrived we got our plywood We've got our blocking and bracing we got to get this work going on so we can get everything ready for next weekend and maybe hopefully we can get this thing dried in by next weekend. We'll see how that works out. But uh, anyway, hope you're having a great weekend. Um, but it's time to get at it. all right so we had a little change of plans here when i started checking our walls out um these are only six inch logs they get a lot of deflection in them or not a lot but some and unfortunately it's kind of hard to straighten them out so i come up with a system where we put some threaded rods in and then we brace this wall off got this wall straight 
and then we're gonna adjust in this wall with the nuts and straighten it up because we needed to pull this wall in more it's got to come in about a half to three quarters of an inch where this wall was off by about a quarter so we straightened it up put our braces in then i'm gonna go ahead and put these uh tighten these threaded rods up i got a nut on the outside and that'll hold and make this whole top layer as stiff and as strong as it can be now i could probably leave them in after we put the joists up but i'm not i'll take them out we'll patch the holes up on the outside i'm not concerned about that but these walls even though they're screwed until we get the trusses on and, and tie in that top they bow just like any wood wall do will do so anyway it's a little extravagant to do it this way but um, we did it on the first floor and it worked out well um like i said terry came out and helped me for a little bit but we got everything all the rough stuff taken care of so now all i have to do is screw the nut in and pull the wall in until we get it perfectly straight and nut it on the inside and we're good then i'm gonna start putting the plates on started carrying up our plate material we're gonna put that on so uh, we're getting at it Um, it's Sunday, Carriage House Day. Um, we did some work yesterday. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of video of it uh, about halfway through our work. Uh, we had an issue with some pigs getting loose. <laughs> I was working on the carriage house, and the wife goes, Look, pig! And uh, sure enough, we looked down, and the, the criminals and Jake got out um those guys cease to amaze me how many times they can get out of an enclosure but they've been doing it their whole entire life so that's hence the name we call them the criminals so we ended up having uh, having to uh, drop everything we were doing and run up and go fix the pig pen and uh needless to say that took some time and by the time we were done doing that we had to go feed the pigs and cows and by the time I got back, it was dark 30, and I tried to work for a little while in the dark, and the wife got on to me, so I decided to call it an evening. But we got some of the plate material up. I've got a little, I kind of figured out how I wanted to do it. So uh, we've got to put a double plate, so I've got to finish this plate, which I've only got about, about a third of it done, and then add another plate to that and uh we did install you can see the nuts and washers we put the threaded rods to stabilize the walls um so that we and straighten them so that we could set the trusses on so uh that's basically where we're at um i'm fixing to get my old legs warmed up and go get at it
Alrighty, so what was a probably an hour and a half, two hour job putting the first plate on ended up being about a half a day. <laughs> I didn't get finished last night because we had to go catch some pigs. We got up this morning and we got the first top plate on. Um, we got it all level we got it all straight i put strings up and got it all straightened out you probably saw me correcting one of the last boards but we got it all right so we're going to put the second plate on and then we're going to call it a weekend all right so we took a little break we're fixing to get ready to put on the second top plate if you think i'm kind of looking funny it's because i hurt my shoulder my left shoulder so i'm having to do everything right-handed which it's already bad so but anyway we can't stop now. We got to get her done. Got to get everything ready for next weekend. So me and the wife are fixing to slap up the second plate and get at it. So it's the end of the day, uh, me and the wife knocked out what we needed to get done to get the trusses up. We put the, the double top plate all the way around. And what we did, uh, so we set the first one down with an adhesive and three inch screws. And then the final top plate we put in with the 11 inch screws we're using for the logs. So I've purposely in certain areas, most a lot area, we've gone a stronger than what the specifications recommend. So I know this ain't, this, this log house ain't going nowhere. So next week we've got trusses in. We're going to have some people coming up and help. It's going to be a good weekend. Going to really, really set things off when we get the trusses up.
and then get the plywood on and get it dried in. I can't tell you how much we've been looking forward to that point. So, but anyway, it's time to go feed the pigs and feed the cows and pack up and go home. Um, hope everybody had a great weekend. Hope you have a good week. And just like us, remember, don't ever, ever give up on your dreams. My name is Todd. This is Honeysuckle Farms. Hope to see you the next video.